This video explains how to use Farfield 2 to create rigid overlays and is part of the Farfield Pavement Design Series by the Federal Aviation Administration, Office of Airports. Refer to a device's circular AC 150-5320-6, Airport Pavement Design and Evaluation, and AC 150-5335-5, Standardized Method of Reporting Pavement Strength, PCR, for the basis of the design and evaluation procedures implemented in Farfield. In this video, we will look at rigid overlays of both flexible and rigid pavements, impact of traffic changes, impact of existing pavement condition. Prior to evaluating if a rigid overlay is a design option, assess the existing pavement conditions with visual inspections combined with field and laboratory testing. Determine the thickness, condition, and stiffness of each pavement layer. Use field and laboratory tests to establish the condition and strength of the existing materials. A structural overlay may be justified if significant changes have occurred or are anticipated in composition or frequency of aircraft traffic. A far-field analysis of the existing structure will identify if the pavement structure is adequate for the forecasted traffic. When considering a rigid overlay, consider the transitions to existing pavement structures and impact on drainage. It may be necessary to remove sections of existing pavement beyond the area of distressed pavement to meet criteria for airport pavement gradients. The structural analysis of a concrete overlay of an existing flexible pavement is essentially the same as designing a new rigid pavement. The only difference is that you start with an existing flexible pavement structure and include a concrete overlay layer as the top layer. Let's look at how to do a structural analysis for a rigid overlay on an existing flexible pavement. Let's open an existing job of Farfield Video. Set up the starting pavement structure. In this example, we are going to start with a structure from the section FlexGA. In the Explorer window, right-clicking the section FlexGA brings up the option to copy, delete, or paste. Choose Copy, then right-click again and select Paste. This creates a new section called FlexGA Copy. Select this new section and rename it to Rigid Overlay on Flex. Next, edit this structure to add a PCC overlay on Flex layer to this structure. Open up the Material window, click P501 PCC Overlay on Flexible, and drag this onto the grid view of the pavement structure. The structure now consists of P501 PCC Overlay on Flexible, P401 HMA Surface, P209 Crushed Aggregate, P154 Uncrushed Aggregate, Subgrade. Note that as soon as the overlay layer is added to the structure, Farfield chains the design layer to the top layer, the P501 PCC overlay on flexible layer, as designated with the small red arrow in the grid view. The pavement type is changed to PCC on flexible. Farfield automatically selected the analysis type based upon the top surface layer. In addition to the traffic used in the FlexGA example, add an Embraer 195 with two departures, five days a week, growing at 5% per year. Farfield calculates the total departures as annual growth times design life in years divided by 200 plus 1 times annual departures times design life. Now that the pavement structure and traffic mix have been created, the next step is to run the design analysis by clicking the Run button. When performing a rigid analysis, Farfield uses a 3D finite element model to compute the design stresses. The solution time for a rigid analysis depends upon many factors including the number of aircraft and the number of different gear types. In general, rigid design analysis will take longer than a flexible analysis. A rigid analysis may take several minutes to complete. Once the design is complete, a review of the section report indicates that the new aircraft, the EMB-195, is contributing 100% of the damage to the section. This is as expected since this aircraft is significantly heavier than all the other traffic. Rigid overlays of rigid pavements are rarely done. Rigid pavements with structural cracking generally are not candidates for overlays. Pavements with non-load related distress may be candidates for overlays. Analysis of a bonded overlay is essentially the same as the analysis of a new rigid pavement if the strength of the existing and new pavements are modeled the same. The overlay thickness is the difference between the existing PCC thickness and the thickness in the Farfield analysis. Note FAA approval is required before considering bonded overlays on projects that include federal funds. Farfield has the option for an unbonded rigid overlay. However, 
It is rarely a feasible option due to the need for accommodating transitions to existing pavements and structures. The structural analysis of an unbonded rigid overlay on a rigid pavement would be similar to the previous example of a rigid overlay on a flexible pavement. Regardless of the starting pavement surface type, all far-field overlay designs involve the same basic steps. 1. Use field and laboratory testing to determine if an overlay is an option. 2. Create a starting pavement structure using a copy of an existing structure when possible. 3. Add an overlay layer. Farfield will automatically adjust to the correct analysis type based upon the surface layer. 4. Create or modify a traffic pattern. 5. Run the thickness analysis. See AC 150-5320-6 for additional information regarding the FAA standards for pavement design and evaluation. See AC 150-5370-10 for information regarding the FAA's recommendations for material specifications. Please visit www.faa.gov airports to find these documents, this tool, and other related design tools. For additional information, contact the FAA's Office of Airports. The FAA appreciates your interest. Safe landing!